Hi folks, in this session we're going to be looking at integration of Trig products. Alright, so to get started, we need to have a look at some um, formulas, which are <clears throat> these ones here. So, product, Trig products. So, this particular set of formulas will be given to you in your um, assessments or in your external exams. So, but still, learning them how to use it is quite useful. Alright, so let's get started. When are we going to actually use these things? Okay. So, when we get a question like this, when we have two products, um, two trig products being multiplied here, uh, once again, we're going to have the same issue as we did with the special cases. We can't actually integrate them straight away. But, so, what we need to do is we need to separate them. And to separate them, we are going to use the, the product rules that we actually looked in the previous screen. So, putting that up, hold on, let me just find it first. All right, there's a table, guys. The products right there and the one that we're looking with or the one that we're looking for is the one with sine and cos there it is so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write down the formula as it is so we got 2 sine a cos b equals sine a plus b plus sine a minus b now obviously I've got a 2 on the left hand side I want to get rid of it so I'm going to bring the divide both sides by 2 so I'm going to have sine a cos b is going to equal a half multiplied by the whatever's on the right hand side. So which means we can rewrite sine 7x cos 3x because we could have sine 7x cos 3x and we could rewrite it as a half multiplied by sine a plus b. a in this case is going to be 7x so we got 7x plus b in this case is going to be 3b plus 3x and then repeating the same process on the other end, so we've got sine 7x minus 3x. And of course, simplifying this, we are going to get a half multiplied by sine 10x plus sine 4x. Okay, now that we've actually separated them into two, um, two separate things here, uh, we could actually integrate it. So I'm going to do this in the next slide. So here we have sine 7x, 3x. So we know that this is equal to a half multiplied by sine 10x plus sine 4x. Of course, let's not forget the integral sign. All right, guys, so what we have here is what we can do now is we can actually take the half out of the integral sign because it is actually a constant. So we have sine 10x plus sine 4x dx inside. Now, integral of sine x, we know that it's actually negative cos x plus c. Uh, so we're going to start integrating the sines here first, but we're still going to leave half outside. So integral of sine 10x would become negative cos 10x, and that will get multiplied by 1 over the differential of whatever's inside the bracket. In this case, it's 10, and repeating the same process for sine 4x. So we're going to get negative cos 4x multiplied by 1 divided by the integral of 4x. In this case, it's going to be 4. So we've done our integration, and now we're just going to simplify it. So we're going to have a half multiplied by negative cos 10x divided by 10 plus negative cos 4x divided by 4. And of course, further simplifying it, we would have negative cos 10x divided by 20 minus cos 4x divided by 8 and of course people you cannot forget the arbitrary constant so we've got a plus c right there okay a look at one more example all right guys in this example we're going to look at um, 8 sine 8x sine 2x the integral of that so obviously the first thing we got to do is we got to figure out where it is in the products. As you can see, it's right there. But we don't actually have a 2, instead this time we've got an 8. So the first thing we've got to write this as is with without the 8 in there, but rather a 2. So we can split it up as 4 times 2 sine 8x sine 2x dx. All right? And from this point onwards, 
we could take the 4 out of the integral sign and leave it as 4 times integral of 2 sine 8x sine 2x dx. Okay, there it is right there. It's in that nice format right now, which means we could replace 2 sine 8x sine 2x with cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. So that's what we're going to do. 4 multiplied by integral of cos of a, in this case, is 8x. b, in this case, is 2x, so 8x minus 2x. Then we've got minus cos of a plus b, so it's going to be 8x plus 2x. And of course, simplifying this, you're going to get 4 times integral of cos 6x minus cos 10x dx. Of course, don't forget that. Now, we know that integral of cos x dx is sine x plus c, which means here we're going to have 4 multiplied by integral of cos 6x would be sine 6x times 1 over, well, differentiation of 6x would be 6. Again, repeating the process, you're going to get minus sine 10x multiplied by 1 divided by, inter, uh, sorry, differentiation of 10x, in this case, is going to be 10. Simplifying this, guys, I'm going to miss a couple, skip a couple of steps here. I mean, really, you could leave your answer like this, but um, here we go. So you're going to get 4 over 6 is 2 thirds. So this would be 2 sine 6x divided by 3 minus 4 over 10 is 2 fifths. So we're going to get 2 sine 10x divided by 5. And of course, don't forget the arbitrary constant, which is plus c. Sorry about that. There we go, and uh, that's how you integrate um, trig products, guys. All right, sorry about the video being so long, but just had a lot of things to cover this time. All right, that's it for this session. Thanks for watching.